About two years ago now, I had my first child. And I thought, when I come back, you know, I'm gonna get back into the swing of things and I'll just pump in the office somewhere. I'll find a spot. And it wasn't really that way when I got back to work. And so that's what really kind of spurred me to think about the challenges that new mothers face when they come back to work. When it comes to innovative ideas and policies, San Francisco is known to pave the way. Whether it's fighting for social justice or advocating for the environment, our city has served as the example and as the leader many times over. And this year, it leads the nation once again, but for a new reason, becoming the most supportive city of nursing mothers in the workplace. I was inspired to work on legislation to really help uh, new moms return to work because uh, one of my legislative aides actually had a baby while she was working in our office. And when she returned, we had luckily just converted a bathroom at City Hall into a lactation room. She was pumping maybe a couple times a day. And had it not been for the fact that this lactation accommodation was just right around the hallway, I don't know that she would have been able to continue to provide breast milk for her baby. While Ashley was fortunate to have a space to pump breast milk at work, not all returning mothers have that same access, even though there's existing state laws on the issue. And these moms usually work in low paying jobs and they're, they're returning work to work much more sooner um, and they don't feel well supported at work. We started out by having legislation to mandate that all city offices and departments have accommodations for mothers who want to return to work and lactate. But then this year, we passed legislation to require that all private sector companies have lactation accommodations and policies for new moms who are returning to work. And with the new accommodations, moms should have a smoother transition once they return back to work. So what are some of the accommodations that this legislation highlights? We wanted to make it applicable to all businesses and all employers, all nonprofits, and the way we did that was we created a set of minimum standards that could be easily achievable by anybody. You mentioned our own city hall has a lactation room. Do you have a few minutes today to give us a quick tour? I would love to do that. Let's go. Awesome. Yeah. All right. This is such an inviting space. So what makes this a lactation room? Well, uh, as our legislation requires, it does have the bare minimum standards. So we have a seat. We have a surface to place your breast pump. We also have a clean space that doesn't have, you know, any toxic chemicals or storage or anything like that. The other thing that makes it really important is that we have electricity. So we have plenty of um, outlets for, for pumps, uh, for our fridge. The things that make it a little bit extra is that the fridge is actually in the room and the sink is actually in the rooms. Our legislation does require a fridge and a sink nearby, but this room is great because it's all right in here. So you can wash your pump, you can put your milk away, you don't have to put it in sort of uh, any sort of refrigerator that you share with your coworkers. The new standards will be applied to all businesses and all places of employment in San Francisco, but are they achievable for the smaller employers in the city? I think that small businesses rightfully have some concerns about providing lactation accommodations for employees. Um, however, we did leave a lot of leeway in the legislation as well to account for small businesses that also may have small footprints. And so, for example, we don't mandate that you have a lactation room, but rather a lactation space. Uh, so in City Hall, we actually do have a lactation pod here that is open to the public. So the more that we can change, especially in our governmental offices, the more we can support women. I think for the workplace to really offer support and encouragement for pumping and breastfeeding mothers is necessary. What's actually most important about the legislation is that, number one, we require that an employer actually have a lactation uh, policy in place and then have a conversation with a new hire as well as an employee who requests parental leave because otherwise a lot of times moms don't feel comfortable asking their boss uh, for lactation accommodations. Really it's hard 
to go back to the office after you've become a mom because you're leaving your heart outside of your body. And when you can then provide your child food from your body and know that you're connecting with them in that way, I think it means a lot to, to a mom emotionally and physically when they go back to the office to be able to do that. But also businesses and employers can just provide a space. If they don't have a room, they can just provide a small space that's private and free from intrusion to help a mom pump. And I think that's going to attract moms to working for businesses in San Francisco. If you'd like more information about the Workplace Lactation Accommodation Program, visit sfdph.org slash breastfeeding at work.